implementation of the strategy adopted by the Intergovernmental Authority on Development for the Horn of Africa and Tanzania. Further to requests from member states, we are supporting African-led and African-owned initiatives in priority thematic areas, including protecting vulnerable targets, countering terrorist travel, developing coordination mechanisms for law enforcement, enhancing the capacity of member states to investigate and prevent cyber attacks, engaging with parliamentarians to implement relevant counterterrorism obligations, and promoting South-South cooperation and respect for human rights and the rule of law. Mr. President, we cannot overemphasize the importance of support to the G5 Sahel Force, which can play a critical role in combating terrorism, especially in the three border areas of Mali, Niger, and Burkina Faso. The post-summit of January, convened by President Emmanuel Macron, put forth an enhanced and focused strategy that could significantly reduce the ter terrorist threat. I reiterate the Secretary General's call for the international community to provide strong support for the efforts of the G5 Sahel. Mr. President, terrorism is an evolving and pervasive multidimensional threat. I encourage member states and other partners to take advantage of the upcoming review of the UN Global Counterterrorism Strategy and the United Nations Counterterrorism Week to strengthen our efforts and partnerships. Thank you, Mr. President.